We were lucky enough to be loaned quite a large amount of technical equipment by local firms in and around Tunbridge Wells. On our Carnival Day programme we screened two interviews, one with Howes of Southborough, the other with a representative of the Tele Centre in Tunbridge Wells. If you're watching this programme on hospital television, as well as listening to it on hospital radio, then you're probably looking at one of the sets loaned to us by a company in Victoria Road, Tunbridge Wells, called the Telecentre. With me is Colin Guy, who's one of three brothers who owns the business. Colin, you've been going in Tunbridge Wells now for a year. How, how are things going? Are you finding it do it's okay. doing well? Yes, yeah, it's doing very well. What sort of things do you actually sell here? Well, we sell reconditioned televisions, colour ones in black and white, uh, video recorders, we, we specialise in second hand, uh, computers, television accessories like indoor aerials and stands and anything that plugs into a television. I suppose there must have been quite an upsurge in business since the home computer boom started, is that, is that the case? Right, yeah, there's a, there's a boom on uh, small televisions and uh, but we sell quite a lot because if somebody pays, you know, a small amount for a computer because computers are so cheap, uh, they don't want to spend three times as much for the television just to watch it, you know? So uh, they can get a good, reliable television at a decent price. So we sell a lot for that. And also, breakfast television sells more of them as well. I suppose people want televisions all over the house now. Yeah, well, the, the, there are people with up to about five or six televisions. I've been in houses like that. Can't believe it. <laughs> um, there, there was a time when colour TV first came out about 10 or 12 years ago when TV sets were really astronomical in price, weren't they? What's the sort of average price you can buy a colour TV for now, a standard size TV for your lounge? Do you mean from us or new? Well, um, the average price would be about 80, 85 pounds. Uh, we have cheaper ones and we have, you know, more recent ones a bit more than that, but the average is about 85, which um, it makes it worthwhile buying a television because when when the tellies first come out, there used to be a lot of breakdowns. So uh, that was why the rental companies got going, you know, because uh, people thought it would be cheaper that way than paying for repairs, but now they're, they're pretty reliable. Where do you get all your tellies from, or is that a trade secret? Well, I can't tell you exactly where, but the the majority of them are uh, ex-rental sets that have been rented out and the rental companies, you know, competing with each other, they buy in the latest models and release sets that are about four or five years old. Um, on top of that, we get a lot of private sales, you know, people who um, just sell their own television. And you do a delivery service as well, don't you? Yeah, we deliver them. We, we take them out and demonstrate them in people's houses if they can't get into the shop. That's, I think that's one of the things that they helped us to grow up fast, you know. And you've also very kindly loaned us some of the sets which people are watching this afternoon. Right. Thank you very much indeed for, for loaning us the sets and also thank you for talking to us. OK, thank you. Video is Britain's boom industry, and nowhere is that more apparent than here at Howes of Southborough, one of the oldest established TV and radio shops in Tunbridge Wells. With me is the son of the owner, one of the sons of the owner, David Howes. David, perhaps you can first of all explain the sort of range of equipment you have here in the shop. Sure, well, obviously we, we tend to specialise on TV and video products, but we also offer quite a wide range of audio products up to five, six hundred pounds because that's mainly what we're into. What about the video product? Uh, there's all sorts of things coming onto the market these days. A lot of people have got video cassettes recorders in their homes. Uh, there's also video discs. That's right, that's very true. Of course, you've got various formats from VHS, uh, video home system, Betamax, which is the Sony Sanyo type tie-up, um, and Vid Philips Video 2000, which has now recently been deleted. But it, it's incredibly complicated for, for Mr Average, who comes into a TV shop, to know what to go for. What, what sort of advice do you give? 
Well, normally we try and run through the advantages and disadvantages of either system. Of course, for somebody that either wants certainly the ultimate in picture and sound quality, um, the laser disc is ideal. One major disadvantage, I suppose you could say, is that it doesn't record. But the cost of it, and certainly as an add-on after video, um, it is ideal. It really is. Now we're standing in front of a display of uh, laser vision. Perhaps uh, you can describe first of all the machine and, and then what goes into it. Certainly, the actual uh, machine basically is a, a single track which is uh, scanned, the laser moves across the disc. Uh, the disc is rotating at various speeds but can maximise 1,500 revolutions per minute, so it's very, very fast. In fact, as I release it, the catch on the top, it slows down because it's very similar to a washing machine, otherwise if you put your hand in it, it would certainly take it off. So once that's slowed down, then you can remove the disc as you can see, it's a 12-inch uh, silver disc, because that's actually what they call it. It's uh, an aluminium pressing, which is between two uh, plastic laminate surfaces. 17 miles of information on each side, believe it, it or not. It looks just like a normal record you'd put on a record player, but silver, and, and it plays back video pictures. That's right. The main advantage is being laser scanned, there is literally never, nowhere, there's nowhere at all. Uh, it lasts forever and it cannot be damaged, it can be handled, it can be dropped. Um, it is virtually indestructible, so the advantages to the consumer long term, that, I mean we rent discs, is that uh, no matter how many people have used the copy beforehand, the copy is still as good as it was when it was originally produced. It must be quite expensive though. No, not at all. In fact, uh, Philips have recently lowered the price. Cost-wise, cost we're talking about the basic model at £229, and then we go up to the remote control, only another £20. And how much do the discs themselves cost? The discs, again, very good value for money, from £9.99, uh, so it's under £10, to uh, £17.99. So certainly most of the discs are in the £13.99 bracket, that sort of price range. And the main advantage is the quality? That's right. Most of the discs are stereo soundtrack, so uh, again the customer can feed them through their existing hi-fi equipment and picture quality is up to broadcast standard. Now tell me a little bit about House of Southbrook because it's, uh, as I said, one of the, the most longest established uh, firms in, in Tunbridge Wells. How long have you been going in fact? Well, uh, my father was selling TVs in 1938 in Southborough. Um, of course, in that day, things were totally different. That was when we had to go, or he had to, I should say. I wasn't around then. But uh, go to the blacksmith and actually have brackets made but, uh, f for the aerial, which was totally different, and select a pole from the builders for scaffold. But uh, things have changed a lot now with laser and projection TV as well, that sort of thing. Small family businesses um, obviously face a lot of competition from the big discount dealers. I suppose the advantage of being a, a, a family shop is that you can offer personal service and personal advice. That's right. We do. We always boast, not necessarily being the cheapest, but certainly um, we are the best when it comes to service as far as things go wrong. And as you so rightly say, the customers are a name, not a number. Um, as far as we're always concerned, it's very, very important. We don't run a computer. Uh, I suppose we will have to one day, but the main thing is that people can come in, have a chat, and go out without necessarily buying something, but of hopefully having good advice. And with such a range of equipment these days, in both audio and video, I suppose that's very valuable. That's true. Yes, very, very true indeed. Yeah. David, thank you for talking to us. Thank you. Pleasure. We're very grateful to Howes and the Telecentre and also Radio Rentals of Tunbridge for their assistance. Well, Carnival Week was almost at an end, but all the staff on GB4HTV were working towards Saturday, Carnival Day, on which we were to transmit the week's events and live pictures of the procession to patients in the homeopathic hospital. GB4HTV was a call sign allotted to us by the Department of Trade and Industry to enable us to transmit our pictures over the amateur TV frequency of 432 MHz. Friday night was taken up with rigging both the town hall and the homeopathic hospital with equipment for the transmission. Very early on Saturday morning before 7am the crew was rigging two OB vehicles, that stands for outside broadcast, one with sound and one with television equipment. As well as this, a large television projection TV had to be fitted in the wards at the homeopathic hospital and all the links tested. At 1.30 exactly, GB4HTV 
went on the air.